I was listening to the stand-up comedian called Nimish Patel, who was talking about end-of-life instructions, you know, like the do not resuscitate kind of thing, where he says that he would like to leave an instruction which says only resuscitate with oral sex, which I thought was very funny, but also really clever. And then I remembered, actually, there's a story about this. So in Egyptian mythology, Osiris, who's the god of fertility and resurrection, is killed by his brother and his body is chopped up into lots of little bits and scattered around the world. But then his sister Iris comes and she gathers up all of these bits, puts together his body again. Then she realizes that the penis is missing. And so she makes a penis for him out of clay. And then we're told that she breathed life into it by placing it into her mouth and sucking on it. And I was just thinking two things, actually. One is that women are also really happy with the life-giving blowing. But secondly, and more importantly, if we could actually rebrand oral sex from not just being about pleasure, because clearly that hasn't worked. But if we could rebrand it as a life-giving technique, not only would that remove the stigma, it would also make it mandatory. And that's called changing the narrative.